Hi, we're here in Morro Bay. And it's a very gray and cloudy day today, but the other night it was nice and clear, so I was able to get some images of common homes and some of the early winter sky. So let's see if we can help you find common homes with this guide here. At about 8 p.m. local time, start by looking to the northeast and east. In the northeast, you'll find a very bright star just a little bit above the horizon maybe a slightly yellowish tint to it. That's Capella. And if you look to the right of that and up, you'll see a cluster of stars. A lot of people mistake this for one of the dippers. It does have a little bit of a dipper-like shape, but this is the Pleiades, the Seven Sisters, also known as Messier's 45th object. And these are your two keys for looking for where the comet is. Uh, at this point, you might also see another star just off the uh, horizon below the Pleiades. This is uh, Aldebaran. Just because it's there, it's going to be part of the winter constellations. I thought you should have what that one is, too. But really, you want to start with Capella and the Pleiades. And you want to look up from Capella. You want to look almost straight up from it. And you want to look almost due left from the Pleiades. It's going to be a little bit off, and depending on your latitude, it will adjust a little bit. But generally, up from Capella and left from the Pleiades, and you'll see this small triangle of stars. The top star is called Murfak, and that's the brightest star in the constellation Perseus. And Comet Holmes is going to be at the bottom left in that triangle. It's not going to move very much from there throughout the, uh, the next few weeks. Uh, you will be able to see it's a little bit fuzzy compared to the uh, the two stars there. You could just get out a good pair of binoculars or you know a telephoto lens on a camera on a tripod, and you should be able to to get a nice picture of it. It's even from what I've heard developing a little bit of a tail at this point, so that should be a, a good target for you. And the thing is, for the northern hemisphere, this will be up all night long. Like I said, Skyview Cafe or another program for finding where Perseus will be in the sky and where these other two guide points will be in the sky throughout the night. But this is for about 8 p.m. at the beginning of November. By the end of November, this will be at about uh, 6 p.m., right after sunset. You can go out and take a look for it. So I hope this helps you find Comet Holmes, this surprisingly bright visitor to our, our solar system. Actually, I shouldn't even say visitor, because it's out there all the time. It's just it happened to have this little explosion a couple of weeks ago, and now it's this much brighter. All right. Enjoy.